Good morning, everyone, and I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday season. Um, I decided to do a video on my favorite buys from 2021 as we are moving on to the new year. It's coming up close. So let's get started because this is going to be a long video. So get yourself a cup of coffee or hot cocoa and, you know, snuggle up in the couch with a blanket and enjoy this video. So if you want to know what my favorite buys from 2021 are, then please keep um, on watching. I'm not going to put them in any particular order. They're just going to be all over the place. So to start with Olaplex, I don't know what what's in it. It's just it improved my hair so much. Um, I did a video on Olaplex a while ago. So if you're interested, you could watch it. And um, I just love this stuff. My hair loves it. It just looks so much better. If I don't use this, um, for instance, this is number three hair perfector. If I don't use this after my wa after I wash my hair, it just looks stringy, dry, and I haven't trimmed my hair in so long. So it's pretty dead. And I dye my hair regularly. So when if I don't use this right after, it really looks like like a horse's hair, tail, hair, tail. So I recommend this. Um, the other alternative, one of my other favorite buys of 2021 is if, you know, this is too expensive for you. I think the other alternative is the Chi Chai Keratin Conditioner, Reconstructing Conditioner. I've discovered this at Winners and I'm pretty sure you could buy this online or any other store, but I decided to give this a go and um, it works uh, pretty well. I mean, maybe not as amazingly as the Olaplex, but uh, I noticed that if I, when I use this, it really helps smooth my, the ends of my hair. My hair looked pretty good and I don't need to straighten it. This conditioner, I like an, alter an, alter uh, uh, blah, blah. <laughs> an alternative for the Olaplex hair perfector. Okay, since we're on hair, I might as well do, uh, okay, hold on. Um, oh, um, um, I just love hair sprays, like hair mist, perfume hair mist sprays. And I really love the, what was it? The Bum Bum, the Bum Bum Cream, the Brazilian one, Coco, I don't remember. It's the one that smells so like buttery popcorn sweet. And I love that it's a body spray and you know, hair mist, but it doesn't last long in my hair. So, so I found one on the body shop. I don't know if anyone knows about the body shop, but oh, I, I bought the hair mist, the hair and body mist in pomegranate and red berries. Oh, and I also bought the, oh, I forgot what it's called. The other scent is mango. And this stuff like really lasts on your hair. Like oh, pomegranate and red berries is pretty good. Like you spritz this on. I use this primarily as a hair mist. It's just, oh, it smells so good and it lasts long like the next day i could still smell in my hair so i strongly recommend this i think it was 20 dollars, which is pretty pretty reasonably priced 20 dollars can next up uh okay uh patrick taz uh for face she's so la uh cream and bronzer blush cream and powder blush i mean <laughs> So I bought this at Sephora and I can't get enough of this. I just love the, the packaging and the, the glow that it gives me. Speaking of which, like I need some right now. Like it's, it's very emollient and creamy, but you know, it, it blends on really nicely. Let's do that here. I need some glow, glow right now. I look pretty pale, so I'll show you. It's not streaky, blends nicely. It's great for like, like a natural glow. Let's do this. I need, I need to look a little bit less pale. Oh, it's just beautiful, beautiful finish. So this is the, the makeup item I've been reaching out. Oh, look at that. I look so much better. I didn't, yeah. That I've been reaching out a lot lately. This is my favorite bronzer and oh, oh my god look at that like it just looks so natural okay i love this love this my favorite concealer um 
<clears throat> that I discovered, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> something in my throat, is Makeup Forever Velvet Matte Concealer. This stuff, like a little goes a long way. I use this primarily for my um, under eyes to conceal my dark circles and one little drop just like covers well. It's a drier texture. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, it's a drier texture, but like it, it stays. And I think that's the reason why it really lasts long on my skin and you don't need to powder it. Well, that's my opinion. Like I just use this and like I don't need to set it. It just stays all day. So you know, those who have drier skin texture may not like this. You know, with all the mask uh, wearing and I don't want to, you know, transfer all my my lip product all over my face. Like the one that really stays is the NYX Lingerie XXL. This stays, I love it. The color selection, I mean, they have decent colors, but I wish they would have a more wider range. I did a video on this, um, if you'd like to watch it. Um, but this stays on your lips. The only downfall is, is that it's, it dries out my lips. That is very drying. I, I would need to, you know, apply some. Oh no, is that the recycling? Is that the recycling jug? I have to take out the recycling. Hold on. Okay, made it back. <sighs> um, where was I? Uh, okay. I guess this would have to be my favorite top buy of 2021 because it's just, it just works, it's amazing. It's the UK Lash Eyelash Growth Serum. I rave about this in all my videos. I did a few videos on it and it really works, it's effective. It grew my lashes. I can actually wear mascara and it lengthens. Like it's like, it shows my lashes. So I can't recommend this enough, I love this and so much so that I love the serum that I also bought the Volume Boost Mascara from their online site. I, I, I love it. This, the mascara lasts long. It, you know, darkens my lashes, lengthens it, and it doesn't smudge, run. Pretty waterproof. So these two, I think you should try it out. If you have short, sparse, like, lashes, this will grow them. Guaranteed. <laughs> I wish it was sponsored. <laughs> I'm not sponsored. Someone sponsor me. <laughs> oh, okay. Glasses. I wear eyeglasses and I can't get enough. My favorite buys from uh, zelul.com. Zelul. Z-E-E-L-O-O-L. -O -O oh, my favorite purchase of eyeglasses right now is this, this kind. It has a 70s vibe. I'm just crazy about it. You gotta go try it. I mean, these are transitional. Um, you can get progressives and uh, like all for under $100, like Canadian with the frame, like it's crazy. So I got these, this one recently in November. I love this style, very like 70s, love it. And I also got something a little bit more, I'm gonna say geeky. I was like, not geeky. <laughs> not geeky looking <laughs> but it's like butterfly um matte butter yeah butterfly shape i guess they would describe it so i like these ones too this is different i never had a matte frame so got this off zelo so you got you you should check them out because these frames are so many different kinds of frames to choose from and really cheap and speaking of which since we're on glasses i discovered this um a storage case from uh amazon like it comes like this what is this is this a hex this is not a hexagon <laughs> what shape is this wait one two three five like an octagon <laughs> like i have so much uh, eyeglasses that i didn't know where to put them i didn't want to put them like all you know stored individually so this organizes my eyeglasses or sunglasses really well. Like it has how many? Five only, but I kind of stack them. So it's great multi-purpose. Like you could store your sunglasses or your eyeglasses and you could hang it, you know, behind the door or not. And it's a great travel 
uh, case as well. So <laughs> amazing buy. I'm so glad I found this. I probably need to buy another one because I just keep on buying eyeglass. <laughs> so this one was pretty cheap though. I think it was definitely under $30 on Amazon and hopefully it's still there. I'll try to link it in the video below. Is it after the video? In the description box, I mean. I'll try to link it in the descrip description box below. <laughs> so I love this. Snap closure. Yeah, and you could carry it. I get compliments on these boots all the time. I wanted like a, you know, like a cabin chic boots to go well with jeans and a nice cozy sweater. So I bought this from the shopping channel. It's the brand Cougar. Look at this, like it's Sherpa fleece, um, <clears throat> a leather platform boot. And it is just gorgeous, like with leggings and jeans. It's just really cute, really stylish. Get compliments on these all the time. These were, you know, pretty pricey. They were like up there, maybe like about $300 Canadian. But remember on the shopping channel, you can pay in installments. <laughs> so, um, there you go, Cougar. And they're very warm, it's supposed to keep you warm up to minus 24 degrees Celsius. So I love these, been wearing these all the time. Like now I wanna get the black one. But go check out their website also. There's cougar.com, I believe. Um, but love these. Stylish, comf comfort, comfortable, uh, warm. Go get these. I love belt bags. Like I've been wearing belt bag, belt bags, banana bags, whatever, <laughs> waist bags, fanny packs for so long. I don't care. I wear them in the summer, in the winter, especially. What's great about them during the winter is that it could cinch in your coat and you could be hands-free. So uh, the one that I snagged is the Lululemon Everywhere Fleece Bag or yeah, I think it's called the Everywhere Fleece Bag. It's sold out, unfortunately. They had the, the they had the black, white, I believe in online, but now it's gone. So I've been using this like all the time. It just stores uh, my essentials. So it comes with adjustable belt. And what I liked about it is that it made it so fancy is because they had the metal hardware. The other ones, uh, I believe didn't have a metal hardware. And that's why I like, uh, I like, I chose this one better. I chose this one better. That's the reason why I chose this one. Um, it has a back pocket, zip pocket, I mean. And um, for me, it, it I mean, it, sh it should be the right size, but I guess I carry too much stuff. So like, I find that carrying even just this, my little wallet, it's a little bit bulky to fit in here. Um, with my you know wipes my disinfectant wipes uh and my phone my samsung phone it gets a little snug but it still closes uh and it's it's just really convenient to store everything and be hands-free so i'm crazy about this i think the other alternative of this everywhere belt bag is still available online it's the one that's not sure about fleece it is the one with the like the waves I think it's for uh, the Canada, Team Canada. I don't have it with me because it's in the office. It's the coffee mug warmer. I love the coffee mug warmer. Like in winter, I, I got it from Amazon. You just plug it in and you know, your coffee gets cold, you just have it, you know, sit there for a few minutes and it it warms it up or, or keeps it warm. Although I don't recommend that you leave it sitting there on that warmer for like, for like more than maybe 10 or 15 minutes because then it will, I think it will drain the, it will just affect the longevity of the, of the warmer. Does that make sense? So now I realize like, if I just put it on for a few minutes at a time and not leaving it there to sit, then it, it works pretty well. So far it hasn't broken down.
that's my other thing that I love. And the other favorite buy is the cell phone, um, what do I call it? For the car, cell phone holder. I'll, I'll put in a clip. It's like where I could stick my phone to the car so it doesn't, you know, it's, it's there, accessible, and I could charge it. That was like game changer for me because I was just putting my phone on this, like on, on the seat and can charge it properly. So this little like attachment really held my phone by, by a magnet. And I don't know if you can explain it. I'll, I'll insert a video clip for you. Last but not the least favorite buy of 2021 is this um, Coach Serena Satchel. I bought this off the coachoutlet.com website and I wanted a bag that will fit my essentials. Not too big, not too small. I don't like carrying too many, too much heavy things. So I bought this because it was very stylish. I love the style. It has a top handle and two zipper compartments with the gold hardware, very stylish. And of course the adjustable crossbody strap, which you can remove if you like. The only downfall is I find that if you do stuff it, try to stuff it with so many items, it will bunch up. It, it, it won't keep its shape, right? It's gonna get bulky and look funny. So this is my, my favorite bag right now. Love this. I'm filming the rest of the video because I completely forgot to add three fave items of 2021. So here they are. Okay. One of my fave items is this crimper, but it's not a scary crimper from the 1980s. Remember I had one of those, like, you know, it looked like Daryl Hannah from Splash. But so I bought this off Amazon and uh, it heats up only to 230 degrees Celsius and uh, it's a plug and it does work. My, I, I mean, I bought this for my daughter and she loves it. So e relatively easy to use. You just have to be careful about, you know, about the hot plates and especially holding it here. Oh yeah, it gets hot. So you have to be careful. So I'm gonna like show you. Uh, so you just take a piece of hair you s clamp down on that hair for a few seconds um, because it doesn't heat up fast. Uh, it does heat up fast, but it doesn't like heat up to a very high temperature. Depending on your hair, you might have to leave it longer, but there you go. <gasps> Can you see it? Can you see that wave? Wait a minute. Let's see. There you go. You get these <gasps> there. <gasps> see, this one works. And it's not like that scary kind from the eighties. Oh, let's do another piece. This is, this is fun. It's easy to use. You just have to be careful not to burn yourself because the plates get hot. So if you have that mitt, then you should use it, especially if you want to clamp down on this, just do not touch this part. This part is gets really hot. Um, I don't remember the seller's name, but I'll try to remember to link it in the description box. <gasps> Look at that. It's like nice voluminous waves. There you go. Right. So I love this. I approve this. Definitely. It was under like $30. Uh, how do I turn it off? Oh yeah. Here. There's an off on button here. Eight waterproof Vessies. And you know, they're not bad. Like style wise, they're simple. It's a simple design and it's very lightweight, very flexible, true to size. I took my size eight and very comfortable. And it is so true. It is very waterproof. Like I jumped into a puddle. Okay. I didn't intentionally jump into a puddle. I, I, I walked into a puddle and my feet did not get wet at all. Like it was a rainy, cold, damp day and my feet were warm and did not get wet whatsoever. So this works. Like I asked my daughter to videotape it. She did, but of course she deleted the video, but these work, these are actually comfortable. So I wear these when I go to the gym and then change my shoes. So 
you know, you could wear this anywhere, apparently in the snow, mud, whatever you want, and your feet will be warm and dry. So I like these. And last, but probably not the least, shacket made of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Is it like, I'm so lost for words right now, why? Uh, what do you call it? Oh, not Sherpa. Is it like Sherpa or fleece? Yeah, I think it's like Sherpa or fleece. I'm gonna show you, okay. So here it is, it's like a dark beige shacket. with buttons and pockets. Is this real pockets? Oh, I don't even know. Oh yeah, it's real pockets. So this comes this comes down to my to my knees and it's pretty thick. It's lined and I got this from Veramoda for uh, $80. It was on sale from 150 and I got one for my sister also because it's really really nice and heavy. Um, so this is one of my fave purchases because this just it's cla it's classy it's stylish it's warm and you know just nice to put on i'll put in a clip of how i'm wearing it but uh i think everyone should have a shacket i think that's the in thing right now if you don't want anything too heavy or too light and you're just going into a store going into the mall you don't want to be you know sweating wearing your heavy winter jackets this is a great alternative a shacket Okay. What else? I think that's it. I think this is this is my favorite buys of 2021 um i hope you enjoyed it and please let me know if you have any of these items or plan on getting any of them <laughs> anyways so i'll see you in the new year hope everyone stays safe and have a happy new year bye